Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, as we get closer to the rapture, um, I want to talk about the um, some Bible prophecies concerning the rapture and also the prophet uh, concerning the rapture and the end of times and also the prophecies I talk about can be found in the description box. There's I'm only going to be talking about five today. So first of all, I want to start off by saying that the Bible has not been changed. We have thousands upon thousands of ancient manuscripts to verify the Bible with. Um, the most famous um, being the Dead Sea Scrolls, which date back from 250 BC to 68 AD. Um, these prophecies will prove to you that the Bible is credible. It's, it's, it can accurately predict the future, and it has, and is the Word of God. Um, some people will say that the Bible is just some book written by nomadic people thousands of years ago. But I ask you this: if it, if it were not if it were not from if it were not intervention from God, how would the nomadic people you talk about prophesy so accurately about the future? Okay, so here are here are the Bible prophecies concerning the end of times. Um, people will deny that God created the heavens and that He judged the world through Noah's flood. Okay, on Second Peter, um, chapter three, verse three, five, and six, it says, "There shall come in the last days scoffers, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that the word of God, that the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished." Second prophecy. Scoffers will mock the second coming by claiming these signs, these signs have, and also um, concerning the fr first prophecies, this is completely accurate. I mean, um, this verse was written thousands of years ago, and it actually predicted that people will deny that God created the heavens. Now they're saying oh, evolution was the cause, that God had nothing to do with it. So you can pretty much tell from your personal experience talking with atheists that the first prophecies has, has been fulfilled. Um, second prophecy scoffers will mock the second coming by claiming these signs have always been around in second peter um, chapter 3 3 uh, verse 3 and 4 it says scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their, according to their own lusts and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning i mean just talk to a, a former christian they'll tell you oh my parents have been talking about the signs that they thought they were the last generation and and so we're going to be saying the same thing our kids are going to be the same same let me tell you when our parents thought they were going to be the last generation we did not have the technology for the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip we did not the second coming could not have happened because we didn't have the technology for the rfid chip and so but now we do now we have the technology to plant human beings with rfid chips so so that's why um, some people don't realize that they say, oh, these signs have always been around. And so that prophecy was fulfilled. Third prophecy. There will be an increase in the acceptance of homosexuality as there was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So it says Luke chapter 17 verses 28 through 30. Likewise, that it, likewise as it was also in the days of Lot, but on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So basically it's saying like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah where being gay was, it was pretty much okay. I mean, remember in Sodom and Gomorrah, the, the people living there try to rape three angels. That's, that's crazy. I mean, how can a human being look at an angel and say, I'm going to rape you? Angels can destroy us with a finger. So pretty much, yeah, just like in the days where homosexuality was accepted, now we're living in that days pretty much. And as a Christian, I know what what results from a homosexual lifestyle, that people who practice that lifestyle, they it's it's sad to say that it, it's the, the cold truth is that they get sent to hell. And I don't want anybody to go to hell that they could have repented so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to see anybody go to hell so people will say Christians are bigots no we're not bigots we don't want to see you perish that's why we're warning you the consequences of your lifestyle and okay um, the, the fourth pro so that prophecy was fulfilled the fourth prophecy blasphemy blasphemy will be will become commonplace so in the, so on second Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 it says 
in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boasters proud and blasphemers i mean this accurately describes the world we are in today i mean how many people do you know that use the name of jesus christ as a cuss word this is crazy so this prophecy was that was fulfilled and the the next the the last prophecy i'm going to be talking about the video it says the scriptures tell us that there will be money hungry bible pre teachers who will slur the christian faith and deceive many and second peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 it says there will be false teachers among you and many will follow their destructive ways because of whom the way of the truth will be blasphemed by covetedness they will exploit you with deceptive words I mean, this accurately describes the times we're living in. Look at all the Christian sects that we have led by crazy preachers that have um, made people get farther away from the truth of Jesus Christ. And I mean, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormons, and all the so-called Christian preachers that um, ask for millions of dollars so they can pri buy a private plane. You know what I'm talking about, Creflo Dollar. I mean, this accurately describes the times we're living in. So this was just a list of five of thousands of accurate prophecies found in the Bible. If you still think the Bible is not God, God's worth thinking again and wake up, we are living in the end of times. Remember, also remember the end of times is not the end of the world. The end of times is the end of times as we know it. And also in the description box of this message, I have the prophecies that I, that I talked about in the video. And also in the description box, I have uh, a letter that I wrote that um, I've been spreading across my city and basically giving it to people and doing doing whatever I pretty much can to spread that message. I understand that that message might not save people right now, but if people read it and the rapture happens and if they get left behind, they're going to wake up, they're going to remember that message, they're going to turn to God. So pretty much if that message does not save people now, it will, trust me, it will at least save some people after the rapture. So thanks for listening. Spread that message best you can and glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.